What is going on everybody, it's nothing but skills. And in today's video, we're gonna be showing you the Imperial Dynasty holster in action and a full build that you can run with it. This bad boy is so powerful. I can't really see why people wouldn't run it in a group team. Like group synergy, running this is actually really, really good. And we were running this in the dark zone, farming those landmarks. We we're also running heroic control points, farming those. And this build held up really good. And what I like about it is it keeps the enemies, it keeps the enemies burning at all times. And I don't even have to burn them half the time. Because of the holster, it will catch that one enemy on fire. And if you build around that holster, you can catch multiple enemies with that initial burn too. That's what's really cool about it. And I'll show you that in this build video, so don't worry about that. But I really want to show you some gameplay with this holster just so you guys can see how powerful this holster can be. And if you catch the enemies grouped up and you can get to them like you're seeing right here. Look, look at me just pull up on these guys. Cat three of them on fire. And it's only supposed to catch one on fire, but the way I have it built, it really shows the true potential of this holster. Not only in PvE, but also PvP. Yes, you can use this in PvP. And status effects are a little powerful right now. So that's what you tend to see a lot of players running. And that's why players are even making counter burn builds. But for some reason, with this build, you can even counter their counter. And I'll explain that in a second. But yeah, we're actually, if you look right here, these are two players right here. As soon as I get the bleed on them, the burn, there's no way they're making out of it, right? Even though they get me down, they're going to go down and then my teammates were able to finish them off and they're able to revive me. But let's get into the build itself, right? Let's dive into the build so that way you guys can see how this build works. Now, if we get into the build, you're going to see that I am running the firewall, right? The firewall specialization. And you can either run this or you can run the shark, oh, no, sorry, the survivalist specialization. Either one of those. Now, the reason why I want to run this is because I want to change the talent on my chest piece. And I'll explain that in the build. And I'll show you in just a second what I'm talking about. So for the mask, we are running a three-piece China light. So we get that 15% explosive damage, 10% skill haste, and 10% status effects. I have one skill tier. I have 10% status effects here. I have 12% skill haste. And then I am running 11% skill haste. Ideally, throughout this build, that's what you're going to be paying attention to. You're going to see a lot of status effects, a lot of skill haste. Because the, the builds all are built around status effects. So if you can have higher status effects and then you can have them come back sooner, it's a win-win, right? So that's how you want to stack for this build. If you can fit a golden gear on there somewhere, if you can fit one on there, then you can throw this on there. The problem with these are that they always roll, the there's always an armor roll for the core attribute. So that means you always have to roll the skill tier, which means that you would have to get a god roll status effect or skill haste. But let's get into the chest. The chest, we are running a two-piece wyvern, so we have the 10% skill damage, 10% status effects. We have 10% status effects rolled on there. I would like to get rid of the status, the skill damage for skill haste, and then for the skills, you want to put skill haste. So that's what you want to go with. For the talents, I have explosive delivery. This is where I would like to have unbreakable, because if I'm running firewall, when my chest breaks, it catches that person on fire. So it's just more fire, fire, fire being applied to the enemies. So yeah, right now the explosive delivery doesn't hurt the build, but it's not improving it. Now for the holster, yes, the Imperial Dynasty holster. And the reason why we're running this is because Dragon's Glare. When in combat, it applies burn to an enemy closest to you within 20 meters. So if you saw at the very beginning, when I ran up to a doorway, the enemies come out and they're all burning initially. This is because of Imperial Dynasty, right? Imperial Dynasty does this. But what Imperial Dynasty does, it only allows you to burn one enemy. And my backpack talent is going to let me do that. So then what we do is we have one skill tier on here. We have status effects and hazard protection. This always rolls like that. So ideally, I'm just looking for a holster that has status effects maxed out. And I'll be happy with it. I don't even need the hazard protection to be maxed out. My goal is to get one that has status effects maxed out. And I'll be happy. 8.3 isn't horrible. For the second piece of China Light, we do have one skill tier. We have skill haste and skill status effects. As you guys can see... This isn't even the best knee pad, so I can definitely improve on this build by getting a better one with better status effects and better skill haste. So I don't have a better status effects roll just yet, but when I do get one, then I'm going to fully max out the status effects on this one. For the gloves, we have our second piece of wyvern with skill tier, 12% skill haste, and then we have status effects. I love these gloves because they are god roll. Look at them, fully maxed out. 
Now for our backpack, this is where this build improves on because we have a China Light backpack, which is go skill tier, skill haste, we have status effects. I put a mod on there for skill haste, but we have the talent creeping death. When you, now what creeping death does is when you apply a status effect, it also applies to all enemies within five meters of your target. Now this does have a cooldown of 20 seconds. But you remember when I showed you that clip that I rushed towards the door and all those enemies got on fire because of the Imperial Dynasty holster when it's only supposed to have one, this is because of Creeping Death. You see how they were within five meters, so it spread that initial fire, causing a bunch of confusion. The same thing right here. I call in the nearby enemies. Look how it, it triggers the Imperial Dynasty holster. They're within five meters, so three guys versus just one get caught on fire. Allow me to throw down my hive and then use my fire starter. That is just something that you guys should really look to adding to your build. Creeping Death, probably one of my favorite status effect talents in the game at the moment. Now, if we get into the skills, I am running the Stinger Hive. And that Stinger Hive has a refill speed of 3 seconds, charge is 14. The range is 11 meters, 50 second duration. The damage is 641k and the PvP damage is 100,000. This is tier six, so I get those six charges, 60% damage, 30% range, and then the plus 40, 420% health. Now I pair this up with the fire starter. I have seven shots. Now the cloud radius is 3.9 meters, almost four. Cloud duration, 20 seconds. We have damage of 517,000. The burn damage is 258,000. Now the burn damage, or sorry, the burn duration lasts for 13 seconds. Now for PVP, it's 517,000 and the and the burn damage is 41,000. Now whether you use this in PVE or PVP, it's pretty much going to destroy everything. Now, I mean, maybe not those heavy tanks, but look at this. These guys are a heroic landmark. These guys come out of the door. I ignite it and you can just see the stinger hive going off, then burning and it's a wrap, right? Look how fast we clear out that doorway right there. Now the reason why I do run the firewall is because it does have some really good perks right here. It has the one that gives you 20% burn duration, right? Then it also has the med kit. Your armor kit recovers 200 armor and 200 health over 10 seconds. But what I really like is this talent where you apply burn to enemies within five meters when your armor breaks. So if I put unbreakable, it's amazing. Now one thing I do want to show you is the fire starter pistol. Now this pistol only comes with the firewall, but look at this. Damage enemies lose 50% burn resistance for five seconds. So whether somebody, if this, if you're gonna use this in PVP and somebody has 100% burn resistance, if you hit them one shot with this and then apply the burn, they're gonna burn because they only have 50% versus the 100%. But there really is no wrong specialization you can run. A lot of times you'll see me with the survivalist. As you can see, I have the crossbow on my backpack, which means I am running the survivalist specialization for this clip right here. And a lot of times I run that because remember, Enemies take 10% more damage when they have a status effect. So when I apply that status effect, my teammates are going to get that 10% extra damage towards them. Also, I have a med kit that heals my whole team. So there's a lot of benefits of running this. But whatever way you decide to run it, that's really up to you. I'm just letting you guys know, you guys should probably invest in farming for that Imperial Dynasty. Now remember, this drops from the two cleaner boss missions in New York City. So there are two of them. That is the 100% way to get it, unless there's another way that I haven't heard anybody talk about, but I have confirmed that they have dropped for me both missions in New York City, the Cleaner Boss mission. So if you're looking at getting that holster, that is 100% where you guys can grab that holster. For the ones who are asking, does it work in PvP? 100% it does. You're gonna see in just a second, I'm going to farm this landmark. Somebody calls out there's a rogue. I come around the corner, right? See, I see go, go, goes rogue. I come around the corner and you're gonna see him go on fire before I even light him up. Look, you see, he catches on fire before I even ignite my fire starter. So grab one of those holsters, create a build around it, and then let me know what you guys think. But yeah, this is the build. This is the way I run the Imperial Dynasty holster. One of probably the most powerful holsters in the game right now. It's cool to see some of these exotics actually being worth it, right? Like, it's cool to see these exotics being used and the fact that you can actually use this holster and make a pretty good um status effect build around it is a lot of fun so let me know what you guys think have you guys been using it are you guys on the grind for this holster i wish you guys all the luck don't forget if you guys have any questions with any of my builds the comment section on any video and don't forget to check out all my builds on the title update 8 playlist that's where you guys can find the build playlist thank you guys again for all the support but until the next division 2 video Nothing but skills is out.